materials, week 3 to 5, science 5, quarter 1. In this lesson, you will investigate changes that happen in materials under the two conditions, which are the presence or lack of oxygen and application of heat. In the previous lesson, you discovered that properties of materials tell about their uses or importance, or whether they are useful or harmful. When these materials combine with other substances, they will undergo changes in their properties. There are two ways by which materials change. Physical change happens when the materials change in shape or size, but the substances or particles making up the materials are still the same. These changes are directly observed, like when you cut or slice an apple. There are changes in shape and size of an apple, but the material is still the same. Aside from cutting, there are also other processes that cause changes in the materials, and these include bending, dissolving, freezing, boiling, shredding, and melting. The breaking of glass into pieces is also an example of physical change. Change in the state of matter from solid to liquid or from liquid to gas is also an example of changes in materials. The picture shows the different processes that cause physical change. Let us examine each picture. What do you think will happen to its property after each processes or process. You can explore chemical change by observing an apple. If you have an apple at home, cut it into two and expose it to oxygen in the air. If the apple is not available at home, observe the picture that shows the uncut and cut apple. What did you observe in its color? after cutting the apple and exposing it to oxygen after 5 minutes. If you observe that it changes from whitish to brownish color, then it, it undergoes chemical change, and the oxygen which is introduced in the surface of the apple releases the free radicals in an oxidation process. This turns apple into brown color. The material undergoes chemical change, and there are substances in an apple that combines with oxygen and cause the browning of apple. Metals such as iron rust when exposed to oxygen. Rusting occurs when the surface of the metals or its alloys, such as steel, will corrode in the presence of water. Water is a compound that is made up of oxygen and hydrogen. The presence of oxygen chain causes rusting of iron. The process of rusting is a combustion reaction similar to the creation of fire. If it is left in contact with oxygen, iron will react or iron will react with oxygen to form rust. And rusting is a common term for corrosion of iron and its alloys. Can you explain why the presence of water in contact with iron from rust? Let us find out in doing the activities in the next slides. There are other processes that cause chemical changes. These are burning, cooking, rusting, and rotting. Cooking and burning involves the application of heat. This causes the materials to change in their state and composition. When this happens, a new substance and different properties of products are formed. Some evidences of chemical change are the production of heat and light, formation of bubbles, or formation of a precipitate or solid within a solution. In the succeeding activities, you will discover more about changes in materials when exposed to the presence of oxygen or absence of oxygen. Materials undergo, undergo chemical change also when heat is applied. So enjoy investigating and reading our lessons by uh, doing the activities in this lesson independently. Remember, be careful and ask assistance from everyone 
from elders whenever necessary. In answering the activities, write your answers in your notebook or paper. Learning Task 1. Presence and Absence of Oxygen In investigating the changes that happen in materials under the condition that there is presence or absence of oxygen, you will need the following materials. One piece apple, or you can use eggplant or potato, three clear glass bottles, or chopping board, any vitamin C tablet, 500 ml or two glasses of water, and knife. Prepare the materials. Label each glass with a marker or write in a paper glass A with water and glass B with vitamin C placed under each glass. This will help you monitor which glass will undergo changes in color in the presence or absence of oxygen. See the instruction below. Cut an apple, eggplant, or potato into two slices using a knife in a chopping board. You may seek help from elder, brother, or sister to set up this experiment. This will create bonding between you and your elder member of the family. Pour three-fourth full of water in each prelabeled glass. Put one slice of apple or eggplant in each glass or bottle. Crush vitamin C tablet. Put it in the second glass. Observe that what happened in the material after 48 hours. And write your observations in your notebook or paper. And these are the correct answers. In glass A, the freshly cut apple or eggplant or potato is in white color before exposure to oxygen. And in glass B, also it is in white in, white in color before exposure to oxygen. The apple, eggplant, or potato after 48 hours turn into brownish in glass A, while in glass B, it is in whitish color. What is the color of the freshly cut apple, eggplant, potato in glass A and B? What is the color of the apple, eggplant, potato after 48 hours in glass A and glass B? What is the effect of exposing the slice of the material in oxygen in glass A and in glass B after 48 hours? And what is the effect of putting vitamin C or vitamin C acts as antioxidant that prevents further oxidation of apple or eggplant in an apple or eggplant in glass B? And these are the correct answers. Number one, white in color in both glass A and B. Number two, brown in glass A, A while white in glass B. Number three, it changes its color in glass A but not in glass B. And number four, it prevents browning in color of the material. Learning task number two, application of heat. In this activity, you will investigate what will happen to materials when they are heated. You will need the following materials as follows. Matchstick, one piece, candle, if not available, you can use a crayon or bot. Pot holder in one piece, spoon. Conduct an experiment in the kitchen or in an available place that is safe to keep the experimental setup clean, safe, and manageable space. Be careful in lighting a matchstick and hot objects. Seek help from elder member of the family to set up this experiment. This will create bonding between you and elder member of the family. Observe the properties of the samples before heating. Crush the materials, the candle or crayons, and put it in a spoon. Using a matchstick, Light the candle and heat the spoon containing the crushed materials. Use spot holder to hold the spoon while heating. Observe what happens to the lighted candle. Put off the lighted candle carefully by blowing air on it. Let the heated materials stand for 2-3 to three minutes. What happened to the heated materials when they cooled off? And write your observations in the table.
and answer some guide questions. What are the properties of crayon and candle before the materials are heated? What happened to the materials when they are heated? What change took place? Describe the changes that happen in the materials when they are heated. And what changes in phase happen when crayons and candle are heated? Describe the changes that happen in the materials when they cooled after 3 to 5 minutes. What change in phase happen when crayons and candle melted? And these are uh, some correct answers. Materials before heating and after heating. The crayon before heating is hard but brittle with distinct color and shape. While the crayon after heating became liquid and solidified with new shape but still with the same color. The candle before heating is hard but brittle with distinct color and shape and after heating it became liquid and solidified with new shape but still with the same color and these are the answers in the guide questions number one hard but brittle with definite shape color and texture number two crayon or candle melt or they melted Number three, what change took place? The candle and crayon melt. Number four, the crayon or the candle change into liquid. And the phase happened solid to liquid. Number six, after, after they cooled, they solidify with new shape but same color and number seven the change in phase happen is from solid to liquid then liquid to solid are there new products formed after each changes let the material sit for two minutes observe what happened to crayons and candles after letting them sit for two minutes Copy, copy table 3 in your notebook or paper, then complete the table. There are no new products formed. And these are some observations after 2 minutes. The crayon melted, then form new shape, but same color, and became solid again. While the candle melted, Melted also, then form new shape but same color and became solid again. What change in the material happened after letting the material stand in 2 minutes? What do you call this process that happened in crayons and candle where, there, where its liquid phase turned into solid? What caused this change in the materials? Is there any new material form? Draw your observations in the box. And these are some answers. For number 12, the change happened is physical change or it changes from liquid to solid. Number 13, the process is called cooling. And number 14, use of heat and there are no materials or new materials formed. And these are the drawings for crayon after heating, crayons after cooling, candle after heating, and crayon after cooling. For learning task 3, investigating ice cubes when heated. In this activity, you will investigate what will happen to materials when they are heated. You will need the following materials, 3 pieces of ice cubes, clear glass. Get ice cubes from refrigerator. Again, seek help from the elder member of the family. Number two, put three pieces of ice cubes in a glass. Let it sit for three to five minutes. Observe what happened to the ice cubes when exposed to heat or at room temperature. And write your observation in table four. 
note, if you do not have available ice cubes at home, look at the pictures of ice cube below after exposing them to heat. And this is the answer in Table 4, Investigating Ice Cubes When Heated. The ice cube before exposure to heat is solid, but after expo exposure to heat, it became liquid. Let us answer some guides guide questions. What are the properties of ice cubes before letting them sit for 3 to 5 minutes in a room temperature? Room temperature is higher than the temperature in the refrigerator. Thus, heat is absorbed by heat cubes. Number two, what happened to the ice cubes when they are exposed to heat? What change in phase happened when ice cubes are heated? Describe the changes that happen in ice cubes when they are heated. And what do you call this process of changing solid into liquid? Are there new products formed when ice cube melts? Draw your observations before and after heat. And these are some answers. For number one, solid or colorless. For number two, it became liquid. Number three, physical change. Number four, it changes from solid to liquid. And the process is called melting. There are no new products formed. And this is the drawing when ice cube or the ice cubes before heating and ice cubes after heating. How, do you, how did you find the previous activity? Did you appreciate the role of vitamin C in preventing the oxidation of materials? Remember, the presence or absence of oxygen cause changes in the materials. Vitamin C acted as antioxidant that prevents the apple to turn brown in color. This way, the apple will keep its good appearance. Now you understand why apple and eggplants turn brown or show discoloration when exposed to oxygen. Heat causes the materials to change in their properties also. It will change state from solid to liquid, which is called melting. And when ice cube melted, the heat present in the environment was absorbed by the ice cubes. But when the heat was absorbed by the lighted candle and crayon, they changed state from liquid to solid. This is caused by the process of cooling. Applying heat on the materials, learning task number four. Examine the picture below, then write three to five words to describe each picture and use the concept that you have learned in previous activities. Picture A and picture B. And these are some answers for picture A, heat liquid to gas and physical change. Picture B, heat, melting, and solid to liquid. For picture letter C, and this could be the answer, heat, light, and melting. For learning task number five, investigating the rusting of iron. In this activity, you will understand why there is a need to safe keep our metal utensils and other metal objects at home to prevent them rusting or from rusting. You will need the following materials, two pieces of iron nails, small dry cloth, cloth A, small wet cloth or cloth B, and if nails are not available, you can use any sample materials made from metals. Number one, place one dry and wet cloth near the window. Put one piece of new nail or any materials made from iron in each cloth. Number three, 
let the nail in the cloth stand for 48 hours. From time to time, sprinkle water in cloth B to keep the cloth moist while checking cloth A that is dry. Observe what will happen to the nails or materials made from iron after 48 hours and write your observations. And these are some answers. Iron nails before and after exposure, exposure to oxygen in dry cloth did not change in color and has no rust, while iron nail in wet cloth rusted after 48 hours. Iron nail did not change in color and has no rust. Wet cloth did not change in color and has no rust, but after 48 hours, the dry cloth did not change in color and has no rust, but the wet cloth changed in color and has rust. And these are the drawings or the observations. What are the properties of iron nails before exposure to oxygen? What happened to, ma to the materials when they are exposed to oxygen? What change took place? Describe the changes that happen in iron nails when they are exposed in oxygen. What do you call the process of exposing the iron nails placed in wet cloth after 48 hours that resulted to change in the appearance of iron nails? Are there new products formed after each changes? And these are some answers. For number one, the iron nails are solid, hard, and with smooth edges. For number two, after uh, they are exposed to oxygen, they show rusting of iron. And what change took place? Chemical change. Describe the changes happened. The iron nails have rust. And number five, the process is called rusting or corrosion. And number six, there are no new products formed. For learning task number six, reflective journal writing. In your journal, write at least three sentences of your reflection about the following scenario. Scenario A. Jola's mother is always giving a reminder to everyone in the family to keep the LPG tank closed at all times after using. I understand that. I realize that. And these are some answers. I understand that LPG is a flammable gas. It can cause fire if not properly kept. I realize that I need to close that LPG tank after using it to prevent accidents of fire and leaking of flammable gas. Scenario B. Hannah observed that the sun is very hot. She helped her grandmother to hang the wash clothes af uh, under the heat of the sun. I understand that. I realize that, and these are some answers. I understand that the heat of the sun caused the drying of wet clothes easily and in most practical and economical way. I realize that heat caused drying of wet clothes and it is also important to have grandmother in hanging the wet clothes. For learning test number seven, examine the picture below and cite at least three importance or uses of oxygen and or heat as shown in the given materials. Picture A. Picture B. And these are some answers. Number one for picture A, cooking, heating, boiling water, and source of heat when cooked. For picture B, food, hot soup, and chemical energy. For, for picture letter C, and these are some answers for boiling of water, heating, and steaming. For the last learning task, which is learning task number 8, choose the letter of the best correct answer. Write the answers in your notebook or paper. Number 1. What change will happen to the slice of potato if they will be exposed to oxygen in the air? Letter E, color will change from brown to white. Letter B, color will change from white to brown. 
Letter C, the color will not change. Or letter D, no changes in color. Number two, what causes the rusting of iron nails or iron-made materials in a wet cloth? Letter A, presence of heat. Letter B, absence of heat. Letter C, pres presence of oxygen. Or letter D, presence of or absence of oxygen. Number three, when the candle was lighted, it melted into liquid and became solid again after a few seconds or in a minute. What causes these changes? One, presence of heat. Two, presence of oxygen. Three, absence of heat. And four, absence of oxygen. Letter A, one, two, and three. Letter B, one, and four. Letter C, one, and two. Or letter D, all of the above. Number four, the candle smelted by the application of heat. What change took place when, the, when solid candles became liquid? Letter A, chemical. Letter B, mechanical. Letter C, no change. Or letter D, physical. Number five, which situation shows the presence of oxygen in a material? One, lighting of a candle. Two, burning of fuels. Three, combustion of engines. Or uh, number four, Putting off a lighted candle. Letter E, 1, 2, and 3. Letter B, 1, and 4. Letter C, 1, and 2. Or letter D, all of the above. Number 6. The eggplant or apple in the experiment turned its color from white to brownish. Which statement is not true? Letter A, the presence of oxygen caused change in its color. Letter B, the absence of oxygen caused change in its color. Letter C, the color of an apple or egg can change when it is exposed to oxygen in the air. Letter D, there is oxidation that happened when apple or egg that was sliced and exposed in the air. Number 7, what is the primary cause of rust because water contains blank? Letter E, oxygen, B, carbons, uh, B, chloride, C, carbon, or D, hydrogen. Number 8, Joram noticed that when he mopped the floor using wet rugs, the moist in the floor disappeared after a few minutes. What is the reason why the floor became dry? Letter E, presence of heat. Letter B, absence of heat. Letter C, presence of water. Or letter D, absence of temperature. Number 9, when physical change in materials happen, there is blank. 1, formation of new product or material. Number 2, no formation of new product product or material, number three, formation of new shape, or four, formation of new color. Letter A, one, three, and four. Letter B, two only. Letter C, three and four. Letter D, two, three, and four. And last number, number 10, Hannah observed that the leftover folds of the table became watery, swelled, and had found other after 48 hours. What caused this change in the material? Number one, presence of heat. Number two, absence of heat. Number three, presence of oxygen. Or number four, absence of oxygen. Letter E, one and two. Letter B, two and three. Letter C, one and three. Or letter D, two and one. And these are the correct answers. Number one, B. Number two, C. Number three, C. Number four, D. Number four. 5A, number 6B, 7A, 8A, 9B, and 10C. And that ends our lesson in week 3 to 5. Thank you for listening. Happy learning! <laughs>